Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can work with the Google Slides. I'm not going to get too in-depth with it because it is going to be something you learn in your sixth grade computer class with a lot more depth. So you're going again into the Google Apps and Slides is right here. Opening a blank presentation. And then a few things just to show you. If you want more blank ones, like it, this is the default, I always highlight and get rid of it. If you want more blank ones, go into the drop down menu and add slides this way. Um, you could also duplicate whatever you have. Let's say you had a background and you had a certain color and you want to keep that color theme going, you can just keep on uh, duplicating slides. So duplicate. Um, you could also add to a whole theme, stuff like that. But anyways, for this demonstration, you um, can be having one slide per student, or you could have it be um, everything on one slide that you want in your presentation. You can add video. You can add, uh, this is brand new. You can add GIFs or GIFs and stickers. You can do a ton of things with this, including there's transitions that are effects. You can add animations. There's a lot you can do with slides. Highly recommend it. One of the things that you will have to do as the leader uh, is to share so that, first I have to name this apparently, so practice slides. And now it's giving me the opportunity to share. So this needs to be either keep it restricted and type in the names of the students that are in your team's Gmail, um, or you could make it be Marshfield Public Schools. That way only students or teachers will have access to it. I'm gonna keep it at this one right here, uh, just for this demonstration. And then uh, you can type in anybody. So I'll add Mrs. Lynch, I'll add Mrs. Swan. And notice when you add a person's, their particular Gmail, it automatically will make them an editor, meaning they can do any type of changes they want to this. So do that just for your teammates. And then you hit send, and then the leader will see that it was sent out to everybody they now all have access to the slides. And one other thing I want you to know, if you want to find out who did what, this little symbol here tells you. You click on it and it shows you who, it'll have the names of the contributors and the time that they made contributions. So keep that in mind if you are like, hmm, I'm not sure who added this or added that. Um, and one final thing, if you go to put an image on here, let's go back. I'm just inserting an image from the web. I just say um, book insert. Um, terrible image, but whatever. <laughs> you can add this into a Google Keep just by pressing save to keep, and you can do, what was the other thing I wanted to say? Um, you can make comments. So if maybe the leader sees that someone picked this symbol and the leader's like, maybe that's not the best image that we could use for this topic, then what the leader can do is comment directly on this by selecting the thing they're commenting about, right click, and then down here you'll see add comment. When they add the comment, it will show that it came from the leader or whoever is making the comment. Different image. This is just an example. And then you hit comment. And then when people come back into this slide, they will see all of those. All right. Thank you for watching this demo.